Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The romantic journey of Susie Evans and Justin Glaze has been quite the dramatic one. Not everyone was shocked when the Bachelor Nation stars revealed their relationship in an exclusive interview with E! News. Susie and Justin, after all, had been the subject of romance rumors for months, fueled by their flirtatious Instagram posts, which they denied repeatedly. After rumors of their affair surfaced, Justin apologized on his Instagram stories, writing, Sorry for lying to y'all's face like that. Susie responded, Okay, fine. You guys were correct. To be fair, when they first met in November 2022, their only goal was to become friends. Their relationship didn't become amorous until October 2023, after a night out that included a trip to 7-Eleven, during which they confessed their affections to one another. They also maintained that they had good intentions when they posted on social media. We've always just loved a funny bit and kind of just doing funny stuff on social media, Justin said. We were sincere friends, so we would perform these skits and other things. We were creating the same films on social media and engaging in the same activities, whether they were romantic or not, which is sort of what made them move so smooth. To put it plainly, they simply weren't prepared to completely extend an invitation to their fans to go on a date and share the first few moments of their courtship. Alum of Bachelor in Paradise, who also made an appearance on Katie Thurston's season of The Bachelorette. We've always wanted to just kind of protect our privacy, which sounds funny to say because we went on the show where our romantic connections are far from private, she added. But we wanted to just protect our peace and control our narrative and not put any pressure on our relationship. They had already experienced how a relationship can be scrutinized after going public, after all. We just wanted to figure things out on our own accord and take our time with things, Justin said. And again, God forbid things didn't work out a month, two months into a relationship. It's just like, unfortunately with social media, it becomes a blown out thing. Don't feel too horrible, though, Bachelor Nation. For the first few weeks of their relationship, Justin and Susie claimed they kept their romance a secret from their friends in order to avoid upsetting their group dynamic in the event that things didn't work out. And even though they were aware that dating could carry that risk, they ultimately made the decision to go ahead and try their love. We were spending a lot of time together going about our everyday lives, doing errands, working, and other things. And it was natural to me to say, well, wait a minute, this is working so well. Could a relationship benefit from this? Justin gave an explanation. I've never really had that kind of connection or chemistry with anyone I've dated, much less with a buddy. I thought to myself, you know what, who am I to deny that and just maintain this level of interaction? Let's see whether we can take the risk. Something along the lines of, what do we stand to lose? He said, the pros of taking that leap outweighed the pros of staying platonic in our minds. And so I think that's kind of what made it worth it. Susie really claimed that their relationship had a solid basis because they had that friendship from the start along with well-defined expectations. I just am very upfront when I start dating somebody, Susie remarked announcing in September 2022 that she and former bachelor Clayton Eckhart were splitting up. Like, hey, these are what I expect. I expect to be handled in this manner. Please treat me as the person you would want to go on a date. I also expect you to tell me if you have no intention of dating me. I treated Justin with the same respect, and I believe he felt the same way. We had such a strong, close friendship growing up, I believe that we respected one another so much that we decided not to date each other casually before moving on to other people. We were exclusive from the beginning. 
After learning the current state of Justin and Susie's romance, continue reading to find out what's going on with other Bachelor Nation celebrities. While they didn't click until halfway through season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise, underwater welder John Henry Spurlock, one of Charity Lawson's suitors, and nurse Kat Izzo, she vied for Zach Shalcross's heart, were prepared to go all in. I'm going to try something a little different, he declared, presenting an Asher-cut diamond from Neil Lane. Today, I'm doing what my heart says. You are everything I've been seeking for, my heart is telling me. You are fantastic. However, the pair disclosed that they could no longer see eternity in each other's eyes a few days after the final aired. While our paths are taking different directions due to our career goals not aligning, they wrote in a joint statement to Instagram, We are grateful for the love and support we've received from our family, friends, and Bachelor Nation. Aliza ICK, Clayton Netchard's ex-girlfriend, was nervous about being engaged in paradise, but she gladly accepted Aaron Bryant's proposal on the oceanfront, even though she was dressed entirely in white. She was moved by the software salesman's choice to ask her mother for approval and exclaimed, I knew I was not in control of what was going to come out of my mouth. After returning from Mexico, Charity's ex-boyfriend and marketing manager Elisa had some difficulties, as the finals coda recognized. A few days later, they declared their engagement had been formally called off. Tricky emotions watching it all unfold he posted on December 11 to Instagram. We're leading our amicable split with nothing but positivity and mutual respect for one another. Postpartum nurse Kylie Russell took a hard line against boyfriend Avon Jones for not proposing on Paradise, even though he was allegedly ready to do so when he was courting bachelor at Rachel Recchia. Nevertheless, she accepted Avon's offer to get out of here and make it work. I just had to do what I felt was right, she explained, despite the fact that it meant her intended engagement gowns stayed packed. Love is all about taking risk. She revealed on her Instagram stories two days after their December 2023 20, final that their relationship had dissolved due to multiple infidelities. Later on, Avon wrote Kylie an apology, saying, I have made major mistakes in the relationship and hurt someone who was very close to me. They never gave up believing, though. Theresa Nist, a fellow widow, received a lifetime proposal from 72-year-old Jerry Turner during the November 2023 Golden Bachelor season final. Through the course of this journey, I said to myself, how lucky would I be to find a second true love in my lifetime? He stated to the cameras, and today, I'm going to get down on one knee, look at Theresa, and ask her to marry me. Like, right away. In a lighthearted statement, we don't have a lot of time to waste. Jerry disclosed that he and his bride, who lives in New Jersey, will exchange vows in a live wedding special on January 4. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.